Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, American Comics. I am Thor. Chapter 61. Thor suppressed her in all directions for five seconds, and then knocked her out with a storm hammer. When she regained her senses, the mother who had been knocked didn't recognize her. At the end of 30 seconds, Thor's body recovered, and Mjolnir was already on Carol again. Once again defeated by Thor, and almost crushed, Carol can only hold back no matter how dissatisfied. In the end, she still accepted the title of Captain Marvel, which is the same as the original plot. The difference is that she left Thor with her improved pager for major emergencies. Whether you need it or not, just keep it. In your country, how many strong people like you are there? Carol asked depressedly. She wants to confirm her strength position in the universe, so as to decide whether to walk horizontally or vertically in the future. Thor smiled and said, How much? How is it possible? The only person in Asgard who is better than me is my father. He can even easily destroy a planet, completely smashing that kind. With your current strength, you will not be able to meet opponents in most cases. But you must be extra careful when you meet someone in the universe. Who? A person who looks very much like a purple potato. Carol nodded with a vague understanding. You are Odin's son. Yeah, didn't I say? Thor answered casually, and suddenly realized something was wrong in the middle of speaking. The voice was not Carol's, but came from behind, and he didn't react at all. In other words, the other party lurked behind him, and he didn't even notice it. Thor, who knew something was wrong, reacted quickly, Mjolnir flew towards the rear, and the powerful divine power contained in it could even easily destroy a city. However, the man behind did not dodge or evade, even sneered, and opened his hand to the flying Mjolnir, the black nails exuded a faint cold light. Seeing the opponent's appearance clearly, Thor said, damn, pulled Mjolnir back urgently, and grabbed Carol who was about to make a move, don't do it. Your own. Carol, the woman in front of her was Hela, the goddess of death, Odin's first child and his sister who should not have appeared in this period. If he hadn't caught the opportunity quickly just now, his beloved Meow Hammer would have been lost. Odin, what did you do, you made a half-sealed seal, and let Hela come out early. In fact, it is not impossible to think about it. After Ancient One activated super magic twice in a row, he fell into a short-term weakness, which caused the seal to be weak and took the opportunity to take away Mjolnir. Then Odin made a bigger scene, and the consumption is naturally greater. It is not impossible to enter Odin's sleep in advance, and the seal against Hela will also become weak. One of our own. It made Hela visibly stunned. Carol wondered, who is she? This woman put too much pressure on her, even more than Thor. It's not that Thor is not strong enough, but that Thor has a relatively mild personality. But years ago, this woman exuded the breath of death all over her body, as if countless innocent souls were revolving around her. She's my sister, Thor explained. Carol, you have a sister. When Hela heard Thor's address, her expression moved a little, and she said sharply, it's almost useless to get close. Now, kneel down to your queen. Kneeling definitely will never kneel, it is impossible to kneel in this life. Maybe we can, talk it over. I don't think we have anything to discuss. Hela finished speaking indifferently, waved several flying swords and shot at Thor in an instant. Thor said it was too late and then too soon. With a dodge, he ran behind Carol. Bang bang bang. The energy on his body lit up, and Carol reacted, blocking the flying sword fired by the opposite Hela. Name. Hela. Strength evaluation. Regenerative healing factor. As long as Asgard is still there, he will never be able to kill him. He has the top fighting skills. Special skill. Devil's home field. When you are in Asgard's home field, your strength will be greatly improved. Remarks. Since I have used Mjolnir before, I am very familiar with all aspects of hammers. I have the ability to blast hammers with one claw. When fighting her, please protect your weapons. Comma. Strictly speaking, the current Hela has not returned to Asgard, her strength is actually not as good as Captain Marvel, and she has been defeated in several face-to-face -face encounters. So, she had no choice but to choose the kite tactic, flying darts around Carol's incarnation as Shao Li, and countless flying darts stinging on it made a, jingling, sound non-stop. Carol's speed is fast, but without enough agility blessing, no matter how fast he is, he can't show it. 
It's like driving a sports car for 300 yards, the steering wheel is stuck. No wonder it was thrown by Thanos' big knife in the original book. Facing Hela's fighting skills accumulated for tens of millions of years, she had to fight back with energy waves, but there was no reaction at all when hitting Hela. Definitely Hela was also upset, she found that she couldn't break through the defense at all. When the lock blood hang meets the invincible hang, the next step is the bladder game. The two chose to stop in a tacit understanding. Today's master is Thor. You actually, hide behind women when you encounter danger. Katal gritted his teeth. They obviously came to look for you, but you actually shrink your eggs and let me push you. Thor didn't change his face. Have you ever seen a magician standing in the front row? Carol was at a loss for words. Hela adjusted for a few seconds, and looked at Thor with murderous eyes, okay, now it's time to talk about our affairs. I want to see what Odin chose such a crown prince, do you have the qualifications? Ah, two pitch black daggers appeared in her hands. In fact, Thor in this meeting is not very afraid of Hela, let alone he has a god descending from the earth. The problem is that he already used the transformation today, and hurt the hammer with Hela. Well, I think we really need to talk. Thor's actor possessed him, with a face full of anger and unwillingness. After all, I am no longer the crown prince, we are all exiles now. Ha, huh, Hela was stunned. What did you say? You guessed it right. Just because I launched a war to defend the honor of Asgard, I was exiled, and even deprived of divine power and memory for a while. Just because it wants to be a benevolent king. Old man Odin, I'm not talking nonsense, you can continue this pod. Hela mocked. Sure enough, that old guy is still as hypocritical as before. Carol was in a daze, not to mention the dark history of Asgard's court, only Odin and Frigga knew about the whole of Asgard, and Thor only knew about the plot. She was too lazy to watch this bloody family ethics plot, so she said hello and went back to the house to prepare to go, and she had to leave tomorrow. Another point, she feels that there is something wrong with this woman's three views, and it is estimated that there will be a quarrel. Comma, you probably, never think of Asgard's greatest moment. Hela recalled the past and began to narrate everything in the past. Odin and I, let blood and tears flood the whole world, we were invincible, conquered one kingdom after another, and the whole nine realms surrendered to us. How do you think everything came about now? Odin is happy with the result, but he feels shameful about the process. Suddenly, one day, he plans to be a benevolent king, and starts to preach peace and embrace virtue and harmony. So, I was sealed. Asgard's strongest Valkyrie guards face their commander who was once invincible in the whole world in their final battle. Oh, what an irony. Comma, Thor nodded slowly. I understand your anger. Because, I am the same as you. The Ice Titans invaded Asgard, and my father refused to punish them. So I myself waged this war for honor and was exiled to Earth. He deliberately kept the topic ambiguous, giving Hela the feeling of meeting a fellow traveler. Hela really felt that she had seen herself, fighting for Asgard, but was backstabbed at the critical moment. The specific difference is that the difference is definitely ignored. Hela really swept the Nine Realms back then, but was tricked by Odin at a critical moment. And Thor went to Jotunheim with four or five people just to send them off, and Odin was responsible for wiping his ass. Actually speaking, Odin's kindness is not pretending, it is purely because he thinks he committed too many crimes back then, and now he has a compensatory mentality, just like some white leftists in Europe. This will make Hela look at Thor much more pleasing to the eye. Wrong, Hela suddenly interrupted him, I can feel that Odin's lifespan is short. If you are exiled at this time, what about the throne? She found the point, forehead, Thor can't say that he just went back after a round of experience, right? He thought for a while and decided to sell his brother, Loki. The third prince of Asgard. Contrary to me, he is a gentleman who pays attention to manners. Perhaps, this kind of gentleness is what the king wants. Loki. Hela pronounced the name in a low voice. Far away in Asgard, Loki shuddered suddenly, feeling as if he was being watched by something terrifying. Hela frowned and pondered for a while. The last question, is there any passage here to quickly return to Asgard? Bifrost should be available here, right? Thor raised his forehead. If I could use Bifrost, I would not be here. However, if you want to go back to Asgard, there is a place on Earth where their magicians can open portals. 
where, Kamar Taj, seeing Hila leaving in a hurry, Thor breathed a sigh of relief, and silently mourned for her in his heart. Master Ancient One has a good temper, so he probably won't kill you. He is definitely not afraid of Hila, after all, we are systematic people, and Purple Sweet Potato Essence is not afraid. Mainly in his opinion, it would be too wasteful to fight Serta with such a powerful combat power as Hela, and it cost the entire Asgard. So if you cannot fight, that is the best. After all, it is also considered to be in the Asgard camp. Isn't it good to use it to fight Thanos? Besides, as Thor who has the fate of being the lone star of Tiansha, he only has a few relatives, and he still doesn't want to fall out if it is not a last resort. Luckily, Hela is surprisingly talkative, which is at least communicable compared to the full Blacken in the movie. After all, Odin is still there, and the battle for the throne has not yet been put on the table. Besides, there is a common enemy, Loki, and the three princesses. It is normal for the two exiles to share the same hatred. Definitely, more importantly, his strength gave him the capital to communicate on an equal footing. Although he didn't do anything, Hela, a veteran powerhouse who has experienced so many wars, often has very keen intuition and immediately felt a faint crisis from Thor. She wasn't sure of defeating him, especially since there was a very powerful woman in the room who could come out to support him at any time. This is the biggest reason for his success. Like Yong Rog, who can't fight and pretends to be a talker, if he can succeed, he will be damned. Where's your sister? It feels like your relationship is weird. Seeing Thor go back to the house alone, Carol couldn't help asking. Wasn't Wang Quan fighting like this since ancient times? Thor sighed. Besides, there are many other problems between us. I can only blame Odin's family education for being a failure. He handed over three problematic men and women, and Loki, who messes around all day, is the most normal one. By the way, why do I feel that you seem to be afraid of your sister? It stands to reason that she is no better than you. Carol asked curiously. From what she learned, Thor belongs to the kind of person who can do it without beeping as much as possible, who is used to solving any problem with violence, and who solves the problem if he can't solve it. How did he change his temper when he met Hela? Thor blurted out, because I don't hit women. Am I not a woman? Cater's face flushed, and gradually turned into a liver color. Bang 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 bang. Boom. An energy cannon blasts Thor out the gate. At the same time, a bolt of lightning fell from the sky and hit Carol who rushed out of the room. FK, why are you fighting again? Nick Fury's forehead is full of black lines, and he kneels down to these two big guys. Maria Rambo, on the other hand, decided to redecorate the house tomorrow. Sleeping until you wake up naturally, counting money until your hands get cramps, what a wonderful life. The next morning, when Thor woke up, the sun was already in the middle. I tossed all night last night, and I was exhausted physically and mentally. Don't think about it, the two fought all night. It's a sad story, as Thor finds out that he and the post-awakened Carol spend more than half of their time together sparring. Carol set off early in the morning to find a new home for the Skrulls. Thor didn't stay, he knew it was useless to stay, their relationship hadn't reached that point yet. Besides, Captain Marvel is not the kind of woman who needs to revolve around men, she has her own way to go. In fact, everyone around Thor is not a vase with only a face, they all have their own careers. Peggy Carter was once the leader of S.H.I.E.L.D., and now she is only temporarily retiring. Needless to say, Natalia is the famous Black Widow. Even Maya Hansen, who I just met a few days ago, and even the future official partner, Jane Foster, are not ordinary people. A botanist and an astronomer are all people with, home. This may be the reason why Thor didn't overturn. Everyone has their own things to do. Originally, he didn't have much time with Thor, so he easily achieved the achievement of Time Management Master. System, do you think I'm such a scumbag? Do you want to hear something nice or real? Definitely sounds good. Thor said it as it should be. System, after deliberating for a while, he said seriously, then do you plan to give everyone a home, or let them die alone? It's definitely a happy reunion. The system is your suggestion, not what I thought. Isn't the system a natural backstop? The story of Captain Marvel should come to an end. Do you have any suggestions? Don't tell me to just wait. Nothing to do, Thor asked Miss System in his mind. Don't always ask me if you have something, 
you won't listen to me when I tell you. The young lady was a little anxious. By the way, you have recovered your divine power now, don't you really consider going back to Asgard? Forget it. Thor waved his hand. He cheated in the process of getting the hammer back, and he didn't know how Odin drilled him back in Asgard. Facing Odin, he would rather face Hela. Comma. Um, old lady, why did you come back so soon? Said that Sao 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 will be here, looking at the disheveled and disheveled Hela in front of him, Thor forcibly suppressed a smile. Hela is so angry. Last night she hurried to Kamar Taj where Thor told her. Ancient One Magician is very popular recently. Originally, Ancient One is too lazy to talk to her, she absolutely does not want to get involved with the Asgard people, especially the Odin family. The problem is, Ancient One couldn't sit still when a female devil with a fierce face stood in the hall, and the power of death danced wildly to threaten everyone. She also knows that if Hela launches a surge, these ordinary magicians will destroy the group. Thus, a final showdown between two old women began. Hela, as always, used her signature skill, Shaoli's F King Flying Darts. Ancient One showed off his might and performed a magic show on Hela. Magic Lightning, Mirror Shield, Shape of Icon. The flying darts that Hela is proud of turned into a group of butterflies, and were finally thrown out by Ancient One tied up with a secto red ribbon. Fortunately, Ancient One is a senior after all, so he won't really be cruel to the younger generation, but being thrown out by a red belt is not much different from social death for Hela. Hela is not an idiot, she has already figured it out overnight, the culprit of all this is this cheap brother who looks innocent but is treacherous in front of her. He deliberately didn't tell himself how capable Ancient One is. Hela got angry and replaced the language with flying darts. This time Thor couldn't escape, but fortunately it's already the second day, Thor roared. Atka for Asgard. After his improvement, the transformation line of the second part finally became more normal, for Asgard. Thor discovered a very good part of the skill, Avatar, that is, after the transformation, Mjolnir also changed, and Hela couldn't be crushed anymore. So Hela lost miserably in this battle. No matter how rich her combat experience was, she couldn't escape the, Storm Hammer, S locking attack and was immediately knocked out. After just one second, Thor, who was two or three meters tall after inflating, had already rushed in front of him. With a hammer down, the skill hit is triggered, and Hela is stunned for 0.5 seconds. Then, launch the skill, thunder strike, towards the ground, and the earth shakes. When Hela woke up from the dizziness, she found that her movements were half slow. The result is obvious, Hela's support time is one second shorter than Carol's in the half-minute real man state of, Avatar. What kind of ghost magic is this? It can actually improve its strength in all directions, and it can reach a truly terrifying level, without any sequelae. Looking at Thor who has regained his figure, Hela is full of slots. However, your transformation should not last for a long time, right? After all, it's Hela, and the insight is far beyond what Captain Marvel can match. Comma, Hela has already doubted life now, and everything has really gone wrong these two days. Originally, breaking through Odin's seal in advance made her smug, thinking that her time had come. Unexpectedly, I met an indestructible woman who was not as old as myself and had a 50-50 fight with myself, and then I was raped by an old woman, and finally even Thor could hang her. She would even wonder if she had been sealed for too long, missed too many things, and couldn't keep up with the times. I met three random people just after returning, and all of them have such high force values and two of them are natives of remote planets like Midgard. Could it be that the level of the entire universe has been raised for so many years, and has entered the era when Dozun is not as good as dogfighting saint? In fact, she was thinking too much. The few people she met in the past two days were all the strongest people in the universe at this point in time. Except for Thanos, almost all the masters at this point in time have played with her. I need time to familiarize myself with the information of this era, and will stay on this planet for a long time. When Thor asked what her plans were, Hela decided to stay temporarily. Mainly she can't leave, the only Kamar Taja's ancient one that can teleport is too fierce. Thor thought for a while, no problem, let me arrange an identity for you. It would be unrealistic to just subdue Hela like this, but at least the relationship can be normalized and I can help out when needed. He picked up his phone, 
selected a contact named Fatty 500 Jin and called. Make an ID. Name Hila. Gender female. Age. Thor looked back at Hila. 60. Hela's murderous eyes came. Ahem. Then 30. The dead fat man of 500 caddies, that is, Jin Bing, completed a complete file in just three minutes, including records from childhood to adulthood, and even arranged a large group of so-called childhood neighbors and colleagues, who were stronger than Odin at the beginning. Too much. It has to be said that Jin Bin's energy is really terrifying, and it can take both. The same thing, even if you hand it over to Tony Stark and use his banknote ability to open the way, it is impossible to be so fast. Speaking of Tony Stark, there's another thing going on about him right now. Comma. In a certain classroom of a school, Monica Rambo was whispering with her classmates. Hey, let me tell you, does Tony Stark know? Patriotic entrepreneur. Did you hear that? People from S.H.I.E.L.D. said that Tony Stark wets the bed at the age of 10. I tell you, you must keep it a secret. Yeah, I'll keep it a secret. Hey, do you want Tony Stark's melon? I tell you, keep it a secret. By the time Tony Stark realized it, he was already famous, even more famous than his father. In this way, Hela forcibly moved into Thor's manor, despite his strong protests. Fortunately, the manor has enough rooms. By the way, all the people living in my manor don't count. A new woman came to the family, and her aura was not so strong. Both Peggy Carter and Natalia became vigilant. However, when they learned that the woman was Thor's sister, their attitudes changed strangely and became more polite, probably because they regarded Hela as half the patriarch of the man. Thor was speechless. I said, did you think something wrong? And Natalia, you already called sister Hela, why is it that I am still an uncle? Comma, that, is she really your sister? You don't look like each other, and one has blonde hair and the other has black hair. Even Maya Hansen, who came to discuss cooperation matters, quietly opened the soul of gossip. But as a scientist, she has a strange focus. Thor was speechless, and he couldn't answer this kind of question. Asgard's genes are so special. Not to mention the hair, the same pair of parents can give birth to a black and a white complexion, such as Heimdall and Sif. No, we two don't seem to have any special relationship, why do you care about this? Okay, we'll discuss this kind of thing later. Thor was expressionless. The idea I said last time, how do you think about it? How feasible is it? Maya Hansen immediately became vigilant. I will not agree to use living people for human experiments, let alone make you a self-destruct soldier, even if you are an investor. At this age, Maya Hansen has just entered the society not long ago, and it seems that the moral bottom line is quite high. In the original plot, she can be regarded as a half-villain, but unfortunately Blacken was not thorough enough, so she was shot and killed by her partner in the end. Didn't I promise, I won't experiment with living people, I never lie. Originally, the experimental subjects Thor considered were the prisoners in the Asgard dungeon. This is a group of people who can be hanged a hundred times. Thor will not forget that in the original plot, it was the chaos caused by the riots of these guys that indirectly killed his mother Frigg. It was the last thing Thor wanted, harder to accept than Odin's departure. After all, Odin is at the end of his life, and from the perspective of the gods, he is not really dead, but he still enters his consciousness every day. But now, he has another idea. Thor said meaningfully. Have you ever tried to inject extremists into the dead experimental body, does it have any effect? Maya Hansen was stunned, shook his head and said, No, my research direction is the regeneration function. If it is a dead experimental body, even if the damaged part is completely repaired, it will be useless. This is quite normal. Although extremis is very strong, it is only the research result of mortals after all. It can repair limbs and bring the dead back to life, which is already against the sky. As for further resurrection, that's a function only possible with infinite gems. But this problem is not a problem for Thor, after all, he doesn't really want to be resurrected. Thor yelled outside the door, Sister, get a skeleton soldier. Anything. No bones. Hela's impatient voice came, find anyone. So, a few seconds later, a chicken ran into the room screaming, clack clack, covered in black aura, with faint green lights in its eyes, and showed a terrifying smile at Thor, looking like a ghoul is grinning. FK. Thor's eyes went straight. Isn't this the family bucket left over from lunch? 
the meat on it hasn't fallen off yet. What? Before he could make a sound, Maya Hansen's high decibel scream came from his ear. After all, Maya Hansen was just a mortal, seeing this scene suddenly was not much different from seeing a zombie. Besides, even Thor felt a bit chilly at the scene just now, and it's no wonder she hid behind Thor and hugged him tightly, trembling. Feeling the feeling coming from behind, Thor straightened his expression. Sister, you are too heavy-mouthed, it's fine to use food as a skeleton, can't you shave off the meat first? His eyes dimmed, and Hela walked in slowly with queen-like steps, looked at Thor with contempt, and sneered, pretentious, thank you for being in Asgard. Just looking at this demeanor, Hela is actually more like a king than Thor. After all, the strong men who have been fought in so many years of bloody wind have the aura of a superior in every move. However, her next move lost all poise. She bent down slightly, took a wing off the skeleton chicken, and took a bite. Well, it's okay. Thor couldn't bear a chill, and Maya Hansen trotted out the door behind him, throwing up with a, wow. What kind of eyes are you looking at? Hela asked dissatisfied. As the goddess of death, what she faces all day long is disgusting things, this is completely trivial. The essence of this thing has not changed, but I have injected the power of death, and the energy withdrawn is the same as before. That's right, what you said is very reasonable, the essence of urine and water is not much different, at most a handful of salt is added, so why don't you drink urine? Thor really wanted to just tell her that, but he was worried that if Hela really showed him, he wouldn't even think about eating today quickly changed the subject and said, your skeleton is not good at fighting, why does it fall apart when you touch it? This skeleton chicken looks scary. If it really fights, it may not even be able to beat an ordinary rooster. Hela said unhappily, do you think it's so easy to control a dead body? Either the body is originally high in strength, and after resurrection it inherits the strength of the previous life, or there is a strong enough medium to provide energy, otherwise it is difficult to summon powerful undead. Besides, I am on earth now, and my magic power has not yet reached its peak. Sufficiently strong medium, the eternal fire kind. The eternal fire, definitely yes, and very suitable. The frost titan casket of ancient winters you mentioned may also work. But these treasures are in Odin's treasury, and no one can touch them. You expect that old thing to be handed over to me. Thor couldn't help being a little discouraged, your suitable requirements are too low. He will never forget that Hela's undead army was almost wiped out by two submachine guns. For a long time, Thor has considered Thanos as a strategic opponent. It is a very difficult process to defeat Thanos, and it is by no means a simple axe aiming at the head. On the one hand, Thanos' personal force is too strong, and every Black Order under him is a super boss in the universe. On the other hand, Thanos' army is too much. Whether it is the Karita or the Vanguard, it will be overwhelming when launching an attack, and the crowd tactics will overwhelm the opponent. This is a big problem, he can't rely on him to go up and clear the soldiers himself, can he? In the original book, he missed the opportunity precisely because he was busy clearing the army, and asked you to collect six gems and summon the dragon. Although the people of Asgard can fight, the population is too small to withstand much consumption. And Hela's skeleton soldiers can be the first, provided that the combat power is stronger. At this time, Maya Hansen's research is very useful. Although Extremis has various defects, its biggest advantage is that it can be mass-produced. Comma. Maya Hansen finally came back. She was brought back by Hela. She was sitting across the table, looking at Thor and Hela with a pale face, and asked with lingering fear, You guys, what do you mean? Thor beckoned lifted the skeleton chicken to the table, and said with a horrified look on Maya Hansen's face, try to use your research results on it. Maya Hansen, she felt that her tears were about to fall, this family was too scary, and she was trembling. Boom, Maya Hansen tremblingly injected Extremis into this theoretically undead skeleton chicken, and the skeleton chicken instantly became a fighting chicken. After a burst of excitement, the bones of the skeleton chicken turned red, and then there was an explosion, and the poor KFC died without being able to escape the end of being smashed to pieces. Boring. Hela dropped the next sentence and left coldly. Maya Hansen looked frustrated. Thor, on the other hand, looked at the scene of the explosion and nodded with some satisfaction. The explosion just now was as powerful as an ordinary grenade. 
If Thor hadn't blocked Maya Hansen immediately, he would have been seriously injured if he didn't die. It can be seen that the enhancement effect of extremists on the creatures after becoming undead has not been greatly affected. Miss Maya, I have decided to increase my investment in you. From now on, your funds will not be subject to any restrictions. As for the experimental materials, I will ask my sister to provide them for you for a long time. If it was before, she would be very happy to hear this. But now, the thought of facing a pile of rotting skeletons all day long. She seemed to feel the deep malice in this world. Comma. In this way, there were two more people living in the manor, one Hila and one Maya Hansen. When Natalia returned home, she glanced narrowly at Maya Hansen, and then looked at Thor as if she was looking at a beast. Why are you looking at me like that? Thor raised an eyebrow. I was wondering, do you have the ability to always know in advance where there are beautiful girls waiting for you to strike up a conversation? What's the meaning, Sister Peggy, I don't know much. Isn't that the scientist just now? Also, you were clearly on the western battlefield, but you were able to go to Stalingrad to take me away. How many times have I said that I was teleported there because I had an accident while chasing down Red Skull? Don't even think about it, the two sides were separated by hundreds of kilometers at that time, and the traffic level at that time was impossible to run like this come on. Thor said helplessly, I don't even think about it, how long it took us to return to the western battlefield. Natalia didn't speak, her eyes wandered, as if she remembered those days again. Okay, be serious, say what you want to say quickly. Thor sat upright, he knew that Natalia would not come here for no reason just to tease him. The widow stopped joking, she said seriously, the child you left behind by Peggy was found last time. Why, are you planning to adopt a child? Perhaps because Thor is an Asgard, he has not had children with them for so many years. The creator is fair, and the longer the lifespan of a race, the lower its fertility will be. Just like Odin has been around for so many years, and only has three children, one of whom is still adopted. If it weren't for the underpopulation, Thor's unreliable style wouldn't be his turn to be the crown prince at all, and Odin would have replaced him long ago. Thor shook his head quickly. What kind of child do you want so early? I'm still young. My father was born too early and made me a prince for more than a thousand years. Speaking of this as a tear, how can there be a thousand and five hundred princes in the world? If it is immortal, let alone one thousand five hundred years, thirty years will be anxious to rebel. That's for sure, Natalia said firmly. This child named Daisy John is carved out of jade, and she looks like a beauty. You have sinister intentions. Thor, I just think that vibe girls will be more useful in the future, so start arranging the Avengers assembly in advance. However, looking at the widow's narrow smiling face, he was a little speechless, after all, his integrity had always been unreliable. When I rescued little Natalia back then, I simply planned to train her as an agent, but I didn't expect. It's all the fault of the little sister of the system, who made me fool around all day long. Daisy John, the future vibe girl Sky, was not brought to the manor in the end, but was handed over to a high-level agent named Melinda May for training. There's no way, this little girl can't walk yet, neither Thor nor Peggy has any experience in taking care of children. Natalia was different, she was already 14 years old when she came to this house, and she was also a precocious kind. Comma, life has returned to calm. As an agent, Natalia often doesn't come back for a few days. Once she comes back, she and Thor are like glue. Now that Peggy Carter has retired, there is basically nothing to do, except to occasionally pay attention to the situation of S.H.I.E.L.D. and go to see Little Sky. Maya Hansen gritted her teeth and endured the fear to experiment with the skeleton, and had nightmares every night. Hila finds Thor to trouble him to fight with him every day, and every time he admits defeat in the first game of the Chicken Thief, and fights normally after he transforms. Thor's request to her is that she must never touch his hammer. During the period, Tony Stark called once and yelled at Thor. The whole of New York knows about Stark's black history, and under his multi-party investigation, he finally found Thor's head. Who are you? Who are you looking for? Peggy Carter opened the door and looked at the girl in a strange dress in front of her. This girl looks very heroic, wearing a medieval battle armor, as if in cosplay Wonder Woman, the style is a bit like. Thor, she asked tentatively, you, come to Thor. 
Are you from Asgard, too? Thor's sister is already living at home, so it's not impossible for others to find her. Unexpectedly, the other party didn't play cards according to common sense at all, and said with a smile, Yes, I am, his fiance. Peggy Carter. I have long known that Thor is a super central air conditioner, and even Maya Hansen is a little attracted to him recently. To be honest, she has gotten used to it over the years. This time something went wrong, and the fiancé came to the door. Ah, are you going to quarrel? Peggy Carter said that she should be worthy. What did you say? Are you the uncle's fiancé? Natalia, who was eavesdropping somewhere, jumped out and looked at this handsome girl carefully. Sif suddenly got a little confused, she was planning to declare her sovereignty, but now she realizes that her skills are not focused on, Gong Do, at all. Peggy Carter was actually pretty much like her. Maybe Natalia is stronger in this aspect, but she is in a good mood now and doesn't plan to make trouble. Comma. In the evening, when Thor returned home, he saw Sif blocking the door for the first time, and he was stunned. Thor, long time no see. Sif tried to restrain his emotions and smiled at him. A, long time no see. Thor realized, and immediately gave her a big bear hug. Why are you here? I have missed you for so many years, but I never expected you to come. Natalia rolled her eyes, Uncle, you have long been reluctant to leave these years. Although Peggy Carter has been with Thor the longest, it is actually the widow who knows him best. Miss System is not a human being, so it doesn't count. Even though he knew Thor was talking nonsense, Sif couldn't help but blush and pat him twice. It may be that Thor's straight male attributes in the past were too deeply rooted in the hearts of the people, and he suddenly said something nice, even if it was embarrassing to death, Sif is still very useful. The Shira field does not exist. Hey, the Miss system in my mind couldn't help but sigh, this is not going to overturn, there is nothing to eat. By the way, how did you come to Earth? Could it be that you also disobeyed the king's order and started a war without authorization? There is a black line on Sif's forehead, I just thought, Heimdall can't give me Bifrost, you think everyone is you. But she is a bit difficult to answer, she herself is not quite sure why she was sent to the earth. You can't tell Thor that she made Frigga throw the earth because she went in with her left foot this morning, right? In fact, Sif's fiancé statement has been acquiesced throughout Asgard, even if her relationship with Thor before being exiled has not reached this point. After all, she has always been the candidate for the ace princess in the eyes of Odin and Frigg. The reason why Sif was sent to Earth on trumped-up charges this time was mainly because Odin saw Thor being so promiscuous on Earth, and worried that he would really find a woman from Earth to be his future queen. On the surface, Odin, who likes to use the concept of, all beings are equal, to educate Thor and Loki all day long, actually still has the arrogance in the bones of the people of God's domain, and looks down on mortals in various ways. It's just that he didn't say it. Comma. In an office at S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters, Nick Fury stared at the words, Asgardian Project, on a document. Meow. The Yuan devouring beast gurgled its presence. Hey, don't bark, I'm thinking about something. Meow. Nick turned his head helplessly and saw Thor who was hugging the orange cat. Why are you looking for me in a hurry? I'm very busy. Thor slapped a few times hard, and asked seriously after putting down the orange cat. Nick Fury pondered for a while, and took out this document, for the past few years, I have been working as a civilian, researching where the future enemies of the Earth will be, but I never thought that they would come from the sky and from other planets. Um, I'm not talking about you. This is a brand new plan, the Asgardian plan, which gathers the most outstanding people in the world to form an emergency team to protect the Earth in times of global crisis. You are the only superpower I can find now, so I just came to you to cooperate. What a great plan. But, what do you ask me for? I'm not from Earth. Nick Fury was choked, and said helplessly, Okay, but I believe that in most cases, the Earth and Asgard belong to the same camp, right? After all, we are one in name. I don't know what Talos said to him before he left, the Black Stewed Egg will definitely believe that Asgard is a golden thigh. But there are some problems with this guy's thinking. You all know that the so-called affiliation is just a name, and you use it to get close. In one sentence, you want me to work for you for nothing. Obviously long and ugly. Why do you think it's so beautiful? Nick Fury rubbed the eye that was still intact, and continued, 
Anyway, you and the earth are also inextricably linked, right? If nothing else, even for Carol's sake, you. Stop. Thor interrupted him immediately. I don't know when we will meet next time, and besides, we are just ordinary friends. Are you cheating on ghosts? When I don't know how fierce your fight was that night, the house almost collapsed. He said helplessly. There is also Carter Agent. She's retired. Romanov Agent. I asked her to retire now. Quote dot 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 quote. Nick Fury's already dark face became even darker. Forget it, you should tell your conditions. Anyway, he is a scheming agent leader, and he also saw that the other party didn't really refuse, but wanted to make a condition. In fact, Thor is not completely opposed, after all, the enemies of both sides are the same in a sense. For an enemy like Thanos, it would be foolish to rely on Asgard alone to carry it. There will be so many superheroes on the earth in the future, and the strong men who are given for nothing will not be used for nothing. Moreover, Asgard and Kamar Taj are actually friendly forces, each with a strong man in charge, and the two sides are in a relationship of watching and helping each other. Otherwise, Odin would not let Ancient One cooperate with Thor to hone on the earth. It's a pity that the Ancient One hammer didn't catch it. In the original history, it happened that the two big men, Ancient One and Odin, both knelt at almost the same time period, and the heirs of both sides failed to have time to grow up, so that Thanos had the opportunity to invade. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. American Comics. I am Thor. Chapter 71. Well, then I have three conditions. Say, first of all, this superhero organization will not be subordinate to any organization and must be completely independent. Moreover, no one is qualified to order me, and I will not obey any orders. I have the final say on how to do things. Okay, that's what I thought. I don't want superhero to be a pawn of some politicians. As for you, just consider helping when necessary. One thing is very clear, Thor can't be as obedient as a professional agent, just do what he wants, and don't do it if he doesn't want to. And his bottom line is exactly the same, at least he must maintain a friendly relationship with Thor. Subordinate, want to fart. Second, just like the family members of the agent need to keep confidential, at any time, I don't want my family members to be disturbed too much. Otherwise, I have unlimited defense rights. Because of Peggy, their family was not very peaceful. Every year, a few bad guys were caught near Thor's house, and they all sank into the sea to feed the fish. But the superhero's weight is definitely much higher than that of the agent, once it is exposed, it will not be calm. Just like the Spider-Man in a comic, because of the registration of the Sokovia Act, Aunt May was killed in revenge. Although Hela, the super boss, lives in the family, this woman is originally a time bomb, the kind that her relatives don't recognize, it's already very face-saving if she doesn't make trouble. Yes, we will do our best to make superhero have no worries. Nick Fury hesitated for a moment, then nodded. Thor nodded in satisfaction, the last condition. The last condition, wait, what's your plan called? The Asgardian plan. Thor suddenly remembered something was wrong and asked. Nick Fury was stunned. Ah, what's the matter? Actually, I also think this name is inappropriate, I'm going to change it to. The Avengers Project, or Guangwei, Justice League. Thor shook his head. Forget it, it sounds like a bargain, or the Avengers. Well, my last condition is a piece of land in Manhattan. There are too many people in the family, and now this manor is almost out of place, 25 acres it's fine, it doesn't need to be too big. No question, no, Nick Fury almost blurted out when he heard the request for land, but reacted instantly and flatly refused. Let me go, could it be that your unit has miscalculated? 25 acres, do you want to build a Baijin Han palace? You must know that the offices of the bigwigs in Washington are only a dozen acres. If there were no geographical restrictions, he gritted his teeth and agreed. The United States is truly vast and rich in resources. He can draw a piece of the western plateau at will, and he can build a house or open up wasteland for farming. The problem is that in Manhattan, where land is at a premium. Nick Fury seriously doubts there is such a large vacant lot in Manhattan. I said Mr. Braised Egg, you are not being kind. You also know the first two conditions, which are almost the same as none, and they are just made up. The last one is what I want, and you still refuse. How the hell did I promise you to make up the numbers? Nick Fury almost wanted to shout, 
but he had to give up because of the difference in strength between the two. Please, even if I agree, I don't have such a big power. The people in Washington are not very optimistic about this plan, and you want them to pay such a large piece of land. You are going to make the whole Wall Street riot. Quote. Okay. Thor shrugged indifferently. That's the end of the conversation, so be it. Ah, Nick Fury is speechless, is this completely non-negotiable? Come to me again if you change your mind, I don't care anyway. Wait, Nick Fury stopped him. I have no right to agree to your request, but I can convey your conditions to my superiors, but I can't say whether I can pass them. Not only is it difficult to say, but there will be ghosts if it can be achieved. Thor nodded. Okay, I'm not in a hurry, let me know when there is a result. Oh, yes, I have the final say within the scope of this land, the United States electrical laws are invalid for me. Nick Fury was deadpan. Do you really dare to think, is this trying to set up a Vatican in Manhattan? Is it really impossible for Washington to agree? Not necessarily. Thor thought to himself, by the way, I agreed to your first two conditions anyway. No matter what the last one is, you have to show something, right? When not talking about business, Nick Fury is back to his funny nature. What do you want to express? If there is anything you need to help, just say it, it is best to kill someone. Nick Fury, he suddenly wondered if it was right to pull this guy into the Avengers. I believe that this world is not as simple as imagined. Besides you and Captain Marvel, there must be other superpowers that I don't know about. I wonder if you have any clues. Nick Fury asked with some hope. In his opinion, Thor must know more, whether it is his status as a superhuman or decades of experience. Thor definitely knows a lot, Wakanda, Kamar Taj a lot. It's just that it's useless to say these things. If the black marinated egg runs away, there is a high probability that it will be thrown out. Yes, I have. Who, where, Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff, at my house. Will you let him go? Won't. Then tell me a few more. Is there any more? Captain America, under the iceberg. Nick Fury. He felt that he could hardly hold back the countless headaches in his heart after years of self-cultivation as a senior agent. Say something normal, accessible. Tony Stark, you have access to this. Quote dot 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 quote. Contact as possible, but are you sure that this second-generation ancestor who is full of other things besides picking up girls and canon girls, can discuss such a serious topic as the Avengers together? At this time, Stark is not the Iron Man whose mortal body is comparable to that of a god. Now he does give people the impression that he is a tiger father and dog's son, this kid is useless. Nick Fury already decided Thor was fooling him. Seeing that Thor was about to leave, Nick Fury suddenly stopped him again. Are you interested in raising an orange cat? Nick Fury has a psychological shadow on this cat, after all, he has only one eye left. The reason why I took it back to S.H.I.E.L.D. before was mainly to find a way to get the Tesseract in its stomach. It's a pity that letting this guy spit out what he eats is tantamount to finding a needle in a haystack. As for reaching in and digging out, or violently cutting open the stomach. He felt that the Yuan Devourer didn't mind swallowing himself, as his small body wasn't big enough to fit between his teeth. In desperation, he simply handed the orange cat to Thor, maybe he could find a way to get out the Rubik's Cube, and then hand it back to himself. If Thor knew what he was thinking, he could only say one thing, you think too much. Thor returned to the manor with the devouring beast in his arms, and the cute orange cat immediately attracted the attention of all the girls. Fortunately, Thor checked the orange cat, it's okay if it's a female, otherwise he would be jealous. Gugu, who is a devouring beast, strongly opposes being ravaged by a group of girls as an orange cat. It decided to resist, just like it did to that black-skinned wretched man. The orange cat raised its paw, and was about to claw it out, when Hila on one side glanced at it with eyes full of dead silence, one person and one cat looked at each other. Meow, a terrified scream came out and the poor Yuan devourer immediately gave up resisting, lay down and let it roll. What a terrible woman, this family is so scary. That night, Hila once again made it clear how sinister society is. Meow, a half-eaten big carp with half of its bones exposed, its eyes glowing with faint green light, is jumping on the ground. As a devouring beast, Cuckoo's IQ is by no means comparable to that of ordinary orange cats. 
He stared at the skeleton fish for a few seconds in a daze, and couldn't help but feel his stomach churn. Vomit. It's a pity that the Yuan devouring beast's stomach is connected to another space, so it can't spit out anything. He vomited several times in a row, and finally there was a, bang, a cube emitting a faint blue light spewed out from its mouth. Hila picked up the tesseract. I just said that the belly of this Yuan devourer is weird, and it is so. Tesseract actually appeared on the earth. She looked at the Rubik's Cube with complicated eyes, as if she was weighing something. Thor stepped forward and asked softly, are you planning to, use this to return to Asgard? Hela was silent, she had some hesitation. Why, are you worried that I will go back and seize the throne? That's not true. Thor shook his head. I'm worried that you will go back and deliver the head, and your father will lock you up in a dark room. Hela's face was ugly, she was really worried about this. Although her words are always full of disdain for Odin, she deeply understands how powerful Odin is, almost beyond her level. Even if she is old, she is definitely not something she can fight against. Forget it, you can't do anything when you go back now, and you probably won't be able to make too many waves. Stay on the earth, father can still pretend not to see you. After Thor finished speaking, he took the Rubik's Cube and left, leaving Hela alone in a daze. Comma, your highness, in the yard, Sif stopped Thor. Your highness, that Hela, is she really your sister? His majesty's first daughter? Sif asked very uncertainly. As a courtier, it is actually not suitable for me to intervene in his majesty's housework. But Sif obviously felt that the relationship between Hela and Odin is by no means a simple father-daughter relationship, and she worried that the grievances between them would affect Thor. The most direct impact will be, who will the throne be given to? Without Odin speaking, Hela's pick is even higher than Thor's. Thor shook his head. She definitely fell out because she had too much disagreement with her father's ideas, and the contradictions could not be reconciled in the end. I know you are worried, but you are wrong. Thor turned his head, put his shoulders on Sif's shoulder and said in a low voice, In this world, strength is paramount after all. When it comes to fighting, everything is false, and this is the truth. He raised his fist and shook it in front of her eyes. Sif couldn't help laughing out loud. Your personality, which only knows how to solve problems violently, hasn't changed at all. That's natural, Thor said as it should be. Violence can't solve the problem, but he can solve the person who completes the problem. For his fallacies, Sif has long been unable to complain. Comma, getting the Tesseract doesn't mean much to Thor, but Miss System said that the mall can recycle this thing. Space Gem of Infinite Gems, the system recovery price is 20 million. Based on 50% of the purchase price, I still have to lose 20 million if I don't change it. Thor flatly refused. And Infinite Gems, the price judged by the system is 40 million, and the original Phoenix Force was only 50 million, which shows that I really took advantage of it. In other words, what the system provides is just an opportunity to absorb Phoenix Force, and through a back door, the points consumed are much less. Think about it, as long as this gem is sold, the points will be second. The important thing is that there is one missing infinite gems. If Thanos can't collect all the gems, he can't summon the dragon. The little sister's voice is full of temptation. Ah, Thor had to admit that he was really almost tempted. Wait, I almost got tricked again. Your nonsense, Thanos has already begun to implement the half-destroyer plan, killing planets one by one. Without gems, people can still make trouble all over the world. Think about it in the final battle, Purple Sweet Potato Essence was annoyed by being hammered by Captain America, didn't that just come up with this plan? However, with the Rubik's Cube in your hands, it may not be able to attract Thanos to send the equipment. Or are you going to send it back to the Black Stewed Egg? Ask the young lady. Definitely no, let's keep it for now and talk about it later. There are still more than 10 years before the New York War, and the main character Loki is still in Asgard. It is a waste to put the Rubik's Cube in shield now. If you put it in your own hands, it may have a different effect. Loki probably couldn't imagine that his chief brother would be thinking about him now. Asgard, Odin finally woke up after a period of hibernation. Your majesty, your complexion seems, much better. Frigga looked at Odin with some doubts, with a worried look on his face. Others may not be able to see it, but as a witch, she can clearly see that Odin's condition is now much better than before, which is rare in these years. 
Could it be a flashback? Odin nodded with a complicated expression. That's because I don't need to spend any more energy to seal her. Her, you mean, Hela, yes, she came out. Frigg immediately tensed up. This name is equivalent to a taboo in Asgard, and all traces of her existence have been covered up by Odin. Now that I have taken the initiative to mention. She is a little worried. If it was before, she could still see the situation on the earth through Heimdall. But since the Kree died and Ancient One Odin went crazy one after another, Heimdall's acute eyes has been blocked by Kamar Taj. Perhaps it is not difficult for Odin to suppress Hela again, but the large amount of divine power consumed may cause Odin to fall early, and the result is only more than ten years of sealing. And it will further intensify the conflict. Odin saw what she was thinking, and shook his head slightly, don't worry, I felt it as soon as she came out. Since I didn't act immediately, I won't make another move. Besides, Thor's memory has been restored. If it's dangerous, he can call on Bifrost anytime. There was a gleam of wisdom in Odin's eyes. In the prophecy he once saw, Hela would play an important role in Ragnarok. But now, history has changed, and the future. No matter what, it will never be worse than the prophecy. In the square of Kamar Taj, dozens of magicians are besieging a figure. The golden magic belts flew out from the hands of the magicians, tightly entangled the figure in the middle. Crack, a great thunderbolt fell from the sky. Boom, the thunderbolt, tens of meters thick, suddenly changed its trajectory when it was about to reach Kamar Taj, and it was divided into two sections. The larger section filled the roof of the tallest building. It was a thick and long lightning rod. Originally, Kamar Taj didn't use this thing, but Thor's frequency of kicking the hall is a bit high recently, and he doesn't pay much attention to martial arts, so he randomly enlarged the range of AoE lightning, so Ancient One had no choice but to install it. Definitely blessed all kinds of magic runes in person, ordinary goods can't hold it. After being weakened by the magic lightning rod, the thunder that was tens of meters thick became more than one meter thick and struck down fiercely. The other team of magicians had to deal with it. The magic shield in their hands lit up, and they held it above their heads to block the lightning. Just when the magicians breathed a sigh of relief, a larger energy erupted from Thor, a fiery flame ignited, and the magic belt broke instantly. The flames condensed and gradually turned into a golden phoenix phantom. Under the horrified eyes of the magicians, the phoenix force appeared over Kamar Taj with a devastating momentum, causing the temperature of the entire Kathmandu to rise. FK. The originally calm Ancient One couldn't help cursing aloud, a space crack appeared while waving his hands, and waved his hand to Thor's head. A blue halo appeared, and Thor walked out of it, complaining, why are you in such a hurry, it's not like I can't take it back. Ancient One's old face turned black into charcoal. How many times have I told you that your energy is too unstable, once it gets out of control, the consequences will be unimaginable, and you actually used it in Kamar Taj. Thor waved his hand. I only use it because it is in Kamar Taj. If it gets out of control in other places, it will cause bad things. You can always get it done here. Ancient One. She felt the need to teach the Odin Cub a lesson. In an instant, Thor's eyes spun. Kamar Taj and Asgard in the original history have a lot in common they both have a super awesome boss, and a group of funny people fighting the five scum behind them. In many games, this phenomenon is actually very common, commonly known as one god with four pits. Generally speaking, under the leadership of the boss, a group of bastards can paddle happily. The premise is that this boss can't kneel, otherwise he will end up in a bloody collapse, just like Asgard in the original book. In this world, due to the early rise of Asgard and the normalization of the relationship with Hela, the situation has eased slightly, but Kamar Taj is still like this bird. The entire Kamar Taj except Ancient One, other magicians, even Modu, Fatty Wong, and Kaecilius who is still studying hard and making progress every day, are just a group of abusers for Thor, just be careful not to be cut by the portal. It's no wonder that Ancient One waited so long for Doctor Strange's apprentice. In short, Ancient One is awesome and it's over. In just a moment, he was tied into a rice dumpling by Sector's red belt. This thing is much stronger than ordinary magic belts. Even Thanos' strength is hard to break free, let alone Thor. Moreover, Ancient One only used one hand, and the other hand was used to guard against thunder and lightning that fell at any time. The current strength is really at a disadvantage against the Ancient One, so Thor opened up. 
Atka for Asgard. With a roar, Sekto's red belt disappeared instantly, and the surrounding space returned to normal immediately. A magic lightning from Ancient One struck, as if nothing had disappeared. Magical immunity. Ancient One Furui Wubo's face was full of surprise. Strictly speaking, there is no so-called invincibility, physical immunity, or magic immunity in any world. It is nothing more than a certain aspect of defense that is strong enough to make most attacks ineffective. The best example is Captain Marvel, which can be called physical immunity in a sense, but Thor can still knock her out with a hammer after transforming. However, it can invalidate the attack of Ancient One as Sorcerer Supreme. It seems that this magic immunity level is not generally high. Ancient One tentatively turned magic energy into a spear and threw it at Thor, and the spear disappeared from him in an instant. In a daze, Thor laughed wildly, and a giant hammer flew towards her. Hammer of the Storm Ancient One narrowed his eyes, and immediately stepped into a space door to the other side, but unexpectedly, the hammer was still chasing after him. In the blink of an eye, the figure changed, and a dozen Ancient Ones appeared on the spot in an instant. The Meow Meow hammer in midair seemed to have a brain crash, and it turned around and came back. Thor, the young lady of the system in his mind explained to him. The premise that the hammer of the storm must hit is that the target exists, and at the moment of the Ancient One duplication just now, the whole person disappeared for a moment, so the target was lost. P.S. Many juggernaut players in War 3 use duplication to carry the hammer. Thor suddenly realized that the secret path was indeed the Ancient One, and he found a solution so quickly. Looking at a group of bald heads surrounding him, Mjolnir raised it high and hammered the ground. Thunder strike. Bang bang bang. A powerful shockwave spread out, and a group of, Ancient One, burst like balloons being poked by needles. Ancient One was taken aback for a moment, Thor had already raised his hammer and rushed towards him. If a giant hammer is hit, a crispy magician like her will lose half of her life if she doesn't die, so she made a quick decision, and a portal sent herself into the air. Just because you can't use magic while the gods are in the mortal state, doesn't mean you can't use props. The tesseract flashed, and Thor immediately appeared three meters in front of Ancient One, and passed by with a hammer. FK. With a hammer down, Bald Chang disappeared, leaving only a disappearing portal and a curse. The magicians of Kamar Taj stared dumbfounded at the invincible sorcerer supreme being thrown up and down like a rabbit, as if his whole life was collapsing. The pretend time is always very short, the, 30 seconds real man, buff ends soon, and Thor returns to his original figure, looking innocently at the livid ancient one. Ah, continue tomorrow. He was then blasted out of Kamar Taj. Comma. At the airport in Kathmandu, Thor walked to his exclusive private jet. Why not use Rubik's Cube? Nonsense, how can space teleportation pretend to be cool in a private jet? It has been more than four years since Carol left the Earth. In the past few years, he has been working on training his ability, and now he is very proficient in using the power of thunder without using a hammer. Definitely, Mjolnir, as a super artifact produced by Nidoi, still has a large bonus in the hand. As for the Phoenix Force, everything is being groped. Unlike the power of thunder, there are original plots and memory that can be learned. Even Chin Gele in the original book is crossing the river by feeling the stones, all kinds of instability. Now Thor, in addition to attaching Phoenix Force to Mjolnir as a high-level enchantment, the main mode of action is the indiscriminate attack of the whole body, just like in Kamar Taj. Definitely, this force has a great bonus to his physique. After all, if he bears the Phoenix Force, his physique will explode if he is not good enough. Walking in front of the plane, a professional beauty in all attire came up to greet him. Boss, you're finally back, we have to hurry up and try to catch up with Mr. Stark's New Year's celebration tonight. The beauty in the workplace in front of him, Pepper Potts, nicknamed Pepper, is his personal assistant. In the original book, he was Tony Stark's personal assistant, but fate took a turn. Since Howard Stark survived Bucky's assassination, even though he retired later, he still paid attention to the development of the company. Therefore, Tony didn't get the chance to choose his assistant, and his father directly parachuted him with a big guy. After Howard Stark died the year before last, Tony Stark kicked that guy off and gave the job to his driver and bodyguard, Happy. What is the biggest role of a personal assistant? Definitely helped him pick up girls and FK girls, and Happy's ability in this area is full. 
closer to home, because Tony already has an assistant, Pepper Potts, who came to apply for a job, did not get the job, and was eventually abducted by Thor, who is also a shareholder of Stark Industries. The most important thing Thor saw in her was that this woman could make a lot of money, she could be called a cash cow. In this world, money is not everything, but without money is absolutely impossible. Even as a god from Asgard, Thor has a lot to spend money on. Building a manor requires money, investing in Maya Hansen's research requires money, and in the future it will also require money for construction after the land is obtained. Even this Wakanda black tech fighter is also bought with money. Although black uncles are actually unwilling to sell. A penny beats a hero. It's true that Thor is very good at fighting, but he can't eat the king's meal, right? After the end of World War II, Thor's most wise move was to find a way to get a stake in Stark Industries. After that, according to the memory of my previous life, I bought many companies that would become business giants in advance, thinking that one day I would become a financial tycoon. However, the ideal is full, and the reality is often unsatisfactory. Most of the acquired companies closed down due to his poor management. If it weren't for the fact that Stark Industries is really making money, and Jin Bing also sends a large amount of contribution fees every month, Thor might have to be raised by Peggy. In the past, salted fish was fine, after all, enough was enough. Later, since he invested in Maya Hansen, he realized that he was actually quite poor, with only a dozen small goals at hand. It would kill him to let him learn finance as a rough guy. Although Miss System is a bit skilled, she can't leave Thor. Therefore, it is necessary to find a talent who can make money, so Thor decisively cut off the future CEO of Stark Industries, Pepper Potts. Tony Stark will never know what he's missing. Even if he knew, he would only be glad that he gave up a tree and got a forest. This guy Stark is really worthless. He didn't invite me to this New Year's Eve party. Thor groaned while enjoying a Pepper Potts massage in his seat on the plane. Little Pepper rolled her eyes. It's not like you don't know, that Playboy is too late to hide from you, so how could he take the initiative to invite you? Tony Stark has an unusual opinion about Thor, and many in the circle know that. With a haughty personality like Tony's, it's strange to have a good face when he meets an uncle, who looks younger and handsomer than him, and is also a generation older than him. What's more, when Howard Stark died, I don't know whether it was because he was the third shareholder of Stark Industries or because of his friendship for many years. Howard said that if Tony didn't become a prodigal in the future, Stark Industries would be handed over to Thor. Definitely, this nature is actually similar to that of Lu Deer Beta Chung Tuogu, it's just a verbal talk, no one will take it seriously, whoever takes it seriously is an idiot. But it still made Tony Stark very upset. Isn't it just to pick up a few more girls? The old man actually arranged for me to be a minister. And Thor also likes to put on airs of elders. Boy, uncle is very disappointed in you. Boy, when you were 10 years old and wet your bed, your father still showed it off to me. Boy, try to get out of the singles this year, you see, you are already in the third year, and other children at this age are so soy. Tony Stark didn't expect that he would be urged to marry one day. Flying for hours to Switzerland for New Year's just to get away from Thor. Comma, hello beauties, do you miss me? At the New Year's Eve party, Stark was letting himself go surrounded by a group of models, thinking about where to sleep tonight. Little Pepper, who just followed Thor into the hall, frowned, reached out and tugged on Lathor's sleeve, boss, don't you also want to find some models to relax? Thor shook his head resolutely. Nonsense, I am not a Stark who refuses everything, I am very demanding. For example, dot the ace agent, a botanist, or a female warrior from childhood. Pepper Potts complained. Thor asked for a glass of wine, then narrowed his eyes, I think now, good workplace beauties are not bad. Quote dot 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 quote. Pepper Potts shook his head speechlessly. Sorry, I don't accept subterfuge rules, even if you are my boss. Thor chuckled disapprovingly, and looked at her teasingly. Little Pepper's expression was a little unnatural, at least not when you're working. Comma. On the other side, Tony Stark has already hugged the two models and talked, bragging about how awesome he is, and the two models showed admiration, it is not known whether it is true. Even if he is still a playboy now, at least he has money and good looks, that's enough. His current female partner is definitely not Maya Hansen, 
the great scientist is still doing experiments that make her shudder in the laboratory of the manor. Thor didn't participate in their carnival, Pepper Potts looked a little puzzled and said, aren't you going to say hello? Are you really just here for the party? After getting along for many years, in fact, she has a certain understanding of Thor's nature. He is generally not interested in this kind of activities, and he even looks down on those famous ladies who come together and want to marry into a wealthy family in one step. Maybe most of them or the costumes are all spelled out. Thor is much more particular than the ever-present Stark. I just wanted to see if the same thing could happen with some changes. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Pepper is obviously used to Thor's inexplicable words. Hi, Mr. Thor, I'm a big fan of yours and I have a great research project I'd like to work with. A scruffy man on crutches approached Thor with a look of hospitality and handed him a business card in his hand. In fact, it's a privately funded organization called the Institute for Advanced Concepts Psychokinesis. A trace of surprise flashed across Thor's face, and he looked at the other party with great interest, oh, you know me. Generally speaking, there are not many people who know his true identity except those in the circle. When Captain Marvel fought against the Kree fleet, the battle took place in the outskirts in space, and not many people knew about it. No need to advertise. In the evening, the name, Donald Bulaika, there are still more people who know. I know you. The scruffy man on the opposite side looked excited. I saw your name in Stark Industries shareholders, I'm Aldridge Killian, and I'm your loyal fan. Thor gave a funny grin. I guess you were a Tony Stark fan just a minute ago. Forehead. There was embarrassment on Killian's face, he had really come here to find Tony Stark to work with him, it was actually an investment. It's just that after seeing Thor, he temporarily changed his mind. After all, everyone knows that Tony Stark is a cynical playboy, too unreliable as a partner. As for Thor, it can only be said that whether it is the former Peggy Carter or the later personal assistant Pepper Potts, the image he created for him outside is very good, at least more decent than Tony Stark. Killian took out a blueprint. Look, sir, here is my idea. Also, I am very interested in the research of Ms. Maya Hansen of your company. I started paying attention to her in the second year of college. Oh, it turns out that this botanist who is often scared by Hella's skeleton is still a top student. Underestimated her. As for Killian's research, to be honest, it is actually very promising, but Thor still doesn't like it. Again, the level of science and technology on the Earth is there. Many so-called high-tech on the Earth are actually obsolete in Asgard. Even on Earth, Killian's so-called research has actually been done a long time ago. A black uncle in Wakanda. Unless the sword is slanted like Maya Hansen's extremis, or the future Iron Man has the attribute of being cursed by knowledge, it is difficult to attract Thor in terms of technology. Besides, this guy's personality is pretty bad. Thor thought for a while, and decided not to hit a smug researcher, just in time to see Tony Stark holding two models in his arms and preparing to go upstairs to discuss business, pretending to say, good idea, I am very interested in your research, oh wait. He turned to Stark's direction, you wait here for a few minutes, I'll go say hello to my eldest nephew. Immediately stood up and chased after Tony Stark, hey, big nephew, long time no see. Big nephew, the smile on Tony Stark's face froze for a while, Seeing Thor who was chasing him, he quickly pressed the door close button of the elevator. Then he watched Thor open the elevator door with a look of unrequited love. Thor squeezed into the elevator with a smile all over his face, and patted Stark on the shoulder regardless of the overload notification sound behind him, why, don't you say hello when you see uncle? Tony Stark was expressionless. Instead, the two models put their arms around Tony's arm and shouted sweetly, hi uncle. If you behave well in front of your elders, you may be able to let go. Stark, taking a deep breath, what do you want me to do? If you have something to say, say it, and if you fart, let it go. Thor didn't care about his swearing. It's nothing, I met a pestering guy, and it was hard to get rid of him. Looking at Stark with a bad look, I helped you solve a big boss in the future, is this your attitude? In fact, Thor's attitude is already very friendly, after all, he didn't let Killian go to the roof to blow the cold wind. The so-called asking him to wait a few minutes is actually a disguised refusal. 
Just like when applying for a job, the interviewer asked to go home and wait for the notice. But apparently, Killian didn't think so. A few minutes later, Thor got a call from Pepper Potts, Boss help, I'm stopped by that Killian. Boom, can't wait for the elevator door to open, Thor pushed it open, watching Tony Stark stare behind him. From afar, he could see that Killian was pestering Pepper Potts and talking non-stop, and Pepper would look anxious and helpless. In fact, the security here is relatively strict. There are security guards around the venue, so there will be no problems. But the opponent didn't do anything, just followed closely, which made Pepper Potts very annoying. Thor stepped forward quickly, pulled Pepper Potts past him, and turned his head to look at Killian who didn't know what to do or what to do. Mr. Killian, I have no interest in your research, and I don't think it has any chance of success. So, don't bother me. Definitely, if you want, you can wait for me on the rooftop, maybe I will change my mind in a few minutes. He casually took out the business card just now, tore it into pieces, pulled a little chili pepper and walked away. Killian's face was ugly. He didn't expect Thor to be so shameless and embarrass him in public. There are always some people, it's useless to save face for him. Next time you encounter this situation, pour red wine on him, if it doesn't work, hit him on the head with a wine bottle, and if something goes wrong, call me, and I'll take care of it for you. Pepper Potts' face turned red. I'm not worried about causing trouble for you, the boss. Thor stood still and said with a smile, don't you know that I like people to make trouble the most? Pepper Potts, not far away, Stark saw the scene, whispered to the security guards nearby, and invited Killian out, friendly. Anyway, Thor is also from his own camp, although this guy has a bad personality. Comma, Thor really likes trouble, especially the kind that doesn't affect him, or how boring life is. The next day, Maya Hansen suddenly asked him, Boss, do you know a man named Aldrich Killian? It seems that he is also engaged in scientific research. Thor frowned. I know, what's wrong? Oh, he somehow got my contact information, and said he wanted to invite me to cooperate or something, but I didn't agree. It won't affect you, right? Trouble really came to him, knowing that he refused, but still deliberately trying to poach someone. However, this guy's methods were too low level, which made Thor lose interest. Definitely not. Thor smiled and shook his head quietly sent a message, and then explained, the cooperation is fake, and it is true to want to use your research results. By the way, how are the research results during this time? Maya Hansen shook her head. There are some achievements, but there are still many difficulties. Comma. After leaving the laboratory, Jin sent a message soon, saying that he had sent someone to warm up Killian. Thor ignored him, and began to think silently. What are you thinking about? Miss System suddenly. Thor glanced at her. I'm counting the time, how many years are left? What time? The young lady asked with great interest, Ragnarok? Or is Thanos coming? All, Thor replied. I have been in this world for more than half a century, and it has not been long since the world's major changes. I am wondering if my current cards are enough, and whether I can deal with the future Infinity War. Yes, but not enough. The system voice was a little serious. If you only intend to defeat Thanos, you can already do it with your current strength, and you can call Captain Marvel back. However, you may not be able to control the price of victory. Nonsense, anyway, how many planets have been destroyed by Thanos, it's not easy to deal with. After all, isn't your system useless? There are few tasks and rewards, and bad things are too expensive. Thor couldn't help complaining. Who told you to always pick the expensive one? because it's cheap and there's no good stuff. That's why good things are expensive. Wait, Thor suddenly stopped arguing. Are you implying that I can get more points? Is there a new task? Hand it in quickly. System. Drip. Accept the mission. Thanos Terminator. Use all means to deal a blow to Thanos in every sense. Time limit. Before Tony Stark is kidnapped. Task reward 1. After completing the attack on Thanos target, you can earn points depending on the degree of attack, with a daily limit of 10,000 points, which can be accumulated for up to a week. Task Reward 2. After the mission time is over, mysterious rewards will be issued according to the total degree of completion. Punishment for failure. None, I'll talk about it when I think about it. Comma. 
The failure penalty column inexplicably made Thor feel that the system is a bit cute, with a sense of arrogance. It's really strange, even a thousand-year-old old woman. No, the system is thousands of years old. Grandma, ah, Miss System, there is something wrong with your mission, it's only 2000 now, where did Thanos come from? The system was silent for a few seconds, and then appeared with a voice of gnashing teeth, any attack can be effective, and the simplest thing is to eat a purple potato to get one point. All right, let's taste it yourself, carefully. Don't bother me. Thor, the system is angry, what should I do? Wait online, hurry up. Well, the job of the system is only to issue task settlement rewards, and there is no obligation to do a strategy. Thor's popularity has gone away. Eat purple potatoes. Don't be ridiculous, one point is worth one point, eating 10,000 purple sweet potatoes a day will kill you. Besides, this thing is very irritating to the stomach. Even if Thor's divine body eats without restraint, it will easily lead to stomach upset, and then a thousand miles will flow. Comma. The task name is quite interesting, Thanos Terminator, isn't it about him? After all, we are the men who hacked Thanos. Others like Witch, Team Shock, Doctor, etc., say that everyone can beat Thanos, but none of you can get the head. At this time, Captain Marvel is still wandering in the universe, Doctor Strange is still a school dog, and the last Scarlet Witch seems to be still in kindergarten. Wait, Wanda, Thor suddenly thought of something, picked up his phone and made a video call. Honorable His Royal Highness Thor, you actually took the initiative to call me. I don't know what tasks you have to order. The voice on the phone was full of humility and flattery. If it weren't for the fat face displayed on the screen, no one would have believed that the other party would be the underground king of New York and even the entire United States, Jin Bing. Okay, okay, don't speak like that, it's not that I don't know who you are. Thor said unhappily. Aren't you worried that your subordinates will hear it and affect your prestige? No no no, no matter how grateful I am to the savior of my wife and son, I can't be too grateful. Jin Bin said with a smile. Besides, becoming a believer of a god and being blessed by him will only make them more loyal to me. The second half is the point. In fact, in many countries, the magic stick is very popular, let alone a real god. Just like a leader of a peasant uprising in the 19th century, who claimed to be the second son of God, instead of feeling humble, he echoed everything. This is especially true in Western countries that have a cultural tradition of divine right of kings. Definitely, there is a premise that the gods of that belief must be indifferent, otherwise it will be a pain in the ass to develop a power grab. Forget it, it's up to you, I want you to help me find someone, a five or six year old girl. Jin Bin already knew this guy's private life wasn't as chaotic as Tony Stark's, but he wasn't a gentleman either. But this, five or six year old girl. Although it is not uncommon to see Jin as a mafia boss, but generally people with this special hobby are mostly at the low end of the chain of contempt. Seeing Jin and showing his eyes looking at animals, Thor spat and quickly added, I have a normal mind, I have other arrangements, her name is Wanda Django Maximov, she was born in a certain country in Eastern Europe, probably near Sokovia. Find the future Scarlet Witch first and start planning ahead of time. As for how to lay it out, Thor hasn't figured it out yet. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.